Hello fish lovers and welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a long time since I made a video but uh, I have been busy, I've been on holiday and now after the holiday is over and the summer is almost over I'm ready for a new project and today I'm going to try to drill a hole in my tank and this is why I'm uh, draining the water. Let me show you what tools do I have. You see here I did a test hole in this piece of glass that was left since my aquarium construction and you can see this is the piece of the glass that I drilled it out of this uh, another this uh, big piece of glass and let me show you what I used to do that So this is basically what I'm going to use to make a, a hole in my tank. It's a diamond uh, drill tip or something like that. I don't know the word in English. And with this uh, power cord, power drill, I'm going to use this like so. And ever and gently, I'm going to push this in the glass and hoping that I will make something like this. Let me show you. So this uh, is something that you can you put in a shower. I, I'm hoping that it will work for my tank. If not, I, I will have to buy something online. Like a bulk head, I, I think it's called in English. So this is this is the hole I drilled in the glass like so with this diamond tip dri um, drill. So now I'm going to try to do the same thing in the right corner of my tank. I'm going to install this and I want to make this uh, overflow because I want to install a deep system I'm going to come with water from the bedroom it's going to drip over there in the other corner of the tank and the overflow is going to go over here down in the pipe and it's going to go back in a drain pipe over there so the hole it's the very important thing to do because there is a possibility to, to crack the glass I didn't crack this one so maybe, maybe I will do a good job it's pretty thick glass 10 uh, millimeters like one centimeter glass okay trying to go nice and slow and get this uh, clean you can see that I'm close now maybe two millimeters to go This is the trickiest part when I break through 
and you really don't have to push at all. So wish me luck, guys. Gone. Okay. Let me bring the cutter now. Let me cut this. Okay, guys. So this is it. My hole. Man, I was so nervous. So, there you have it, guys. A brand new overflow hole in my glass aquarium. Drill it by yours truly. I'm going to go ahead and change the lift of the water here. I don't think the glass sand is going to hurt my fish. I hope so. The problem is that um, it's leaking, probably because it's not made for aquariums. It's made for showers, like so, in a shower or in a sink. But I'm going to add some, uh, I'm going to use the same uh, silicone bison silicone glass it's the same silicone that i built my tank so i'm going to add a little bit of silicone over here i'm going to place this rubber gasket on and another bit of silicone here on the gasket and after that i'm going to slide it in the tank hole i'm going to wait about an hour and after that, I'm going to fill it back with water. So let's see. So I added another layer of silicone here when the rubber rubber meets the, the glass. So one layer of silicone, the rubber, and another layer. It's not going to be leaking anymore, that's for sure. This is how it's looking on the tank. You can see the silicone uh, going over the rubber and the glass i'm going to, just going to tighten this uh, this okay i'm going to tighten this real good silicone should be going out okay let me hold this with both hands so i'm going to close the video of course i had to use my finger to smooth out the silicone mm, it's looking not that professional but you're not going to see it in here because it's going to be covered up about, the, but about this line and here we didn't use any silicone here just the gasket that was provided with this so now this overflow is it's just full of silicone in there along with the original gasket I'm ho hoping that will all work uh, good and no more 
water drops flowing here. Yeah, let me show you what I'm going to use here in this hose, the kitchen uh, sink hose. I'm going to put this in here. Of course, it has a gasket in here. And I'm going to attach another pipe or hose. It's going to be my overflow outlet going to the bedroom sink. And I'm going to get a water supply from the, from the bedroom, which is over there. And I'm going to put the water flowing into the opposite corner. I'm going to mix around with the, with the foam water. So the water is going to come over there and it's going to mix around with the aquarium water and it's going to overflow in here down down to the sink and I will have to do no more water changes. Okay guys, this is all the time that I have for tonight. It's already dark aside. My hole is ready. My overflow, it's all covered in uh, silicone. I'm going to wait about an hour. And then I'm going to raise the water level because when the silicone gets uh, a crusty layer, it's, uh, it's gone uh, hard. You can add water and it will uh, get harder in the water. It doesn't matter. And now, on Monday, after the weekend, I'm going to make the piping going over there. I'm going to get the water in my tank. I'm going to show you how I do it. And I'm not going to do any water changes no more. I'm just going to cut the plants because they grow too big. And I'm going to clean the, the glass, the front glass, because it, it gets covered with algae. But no more water changes. And maybe, and this is like a maybe, maybe, I'm going to turn this bad boy, I mean the tank, in a salt water tank. Because I have the overflow now, I'm going to change my lightning, I'm going to get rid of all of this, I'm going to donate my arowana, and my plants, and my sand, everything. And I'm moving to saltwater aquarium. What do you guys think? A two meter long reef tank. It's going to be amazing. But not now. Who knows when I'm going to have the money to do this. I hope uh, maybe next year. But you can never know with me. Because if I get really excited, I can do that uh, next week. <laughs> So don't forget to subscribe and like my video guys and see you next time. Bye.